orbits and it will travel next 90 plus days to reach the halo orbit around L1. Uh, and I think all of you know what is L1. I think I don't have to explain what is L1. L1 is the uh, point which is between uh, two objects, the moon and, sorry, the earth and the sun, uh, where the gravity becomes neutralized. But L1 is not a fixed point. It has, uh, it has influence from moon, it has influence on planets and other bodies. So anything that put around L1 will be subjected to a three-dimensional motion and we call it halo orbit. And the orbit of this uh, uh, Aditya L1 will be a very huge one in which the object will continue to move uh, around this in uh, large periodicity and you look at sun continuously and also maintain contact with the earth continuously. So you can actually observe sun and get the data on a 24 hour basis. This is the advantage. And we will not always position this satellite directly along the line of sight. We will put the satellite such a way that it looks at sun, it doesn't obstruct the uh, sun. Because sun has a very high amount of electromagnetic radiation. If anything is put along along the sun, you put a radar uh, pickup and then try to pick up, you get only noise. You cannot actually see anything exactly come along the line of sun. You cannot uh, communicate with it. 